what I've gotten from a number of books, and there, there are several that claim this, that people are in contact with Bigfoot, but it's basically a, a psychic connection. Yeah. yeah, and so that's, that's what people are claiming, so that they're in telepathic communication, psychic communication with Bigfoot. Bigfoot doesn't have some vocabulary like we do, and if we sit there talking and chattering to him, I think it, you know it doesn't mean much. But again, our facial expressions, the way we say things, uh, and even, again, some kind of psychic thing that's coming out, that's how we're going to communicate with Bigfoot. Uh, much the same way we're able to communicate with dogs and cats and, and other animals and stuff. Um, I mean, you, you look at parrots, particularly African gray parrots that are very good at learning phrases, and they can sort of talk. But yeah, they're just mimicking uh, things they hear all the time. And, and they say this about Bigfoot, that he is a mimicker and he tries to mimic people. That's a big story about Yetis that they tell in, in Nepal and, and Tibet is that the, the, the Yeti wants to imitate people and do what we do. And in fact, one of the famous Yeti stories in Nepal is how Yetis were, were um, attacking and, and uh, harassing this one village. And they wanted to get rid of the Red Yeti. So their story was that what they did was they, because they knew the Yetis were watching them, they had a big party outside in the village and they were drinking this Chong beer and they all drank. And then they pretended to take their big kukri knives and swords, uh, machete type things. And they pretended to fight and to fight each other and hack each other, but they weren't really doing it. It was just pretend. And then they all went back into their houses in the village. And what happened then, this is this is the legend. The Yetis came in and drank some of the Chong. And because they're trying to mimic humans, they then grabbed the swords and machetes and kukris that had been left on the ground, picked them up and attacked and killed each other. <laughs> Oh, they got rid of the Yetis by by making them act out what they had done, but they did it in real. They were just pretending to kill each other, these Sherpas. So that's a strange story about Yetis. 